In the previous lecture, we have discussed LDI system and impulse response of the system. Here we discuss the question based on impulse response. The question given is a DT system or discrete time system generate a response 2,4 for the impulse and they ask find the response of the system for the input xn equal to 1,3 as the uh, in the question given that this response is generated with impulse input it means if impulse is given or impulse is given to the system as an input then output will be 2,4 okay then the question asked for what is the response for the xn if xn is 1 comma 3 as we know any sequence can be represented in term of impulse signal. and here arrow indicate the position of 0 and the next right is position 1 therefore uh, as we know impulse is is a infinite magnitude at the position 0 which uh, and the other right or left magnitude will be 0 therefore 1 indicate 1 is represented with del a. and the position 3 which is right to the arrow or the position 1 is represented with del n minus 1 with the magnitude is multiplied here therefore 1 comma 3 is represented with del n plus 1 del n minus 1 as we know if impulse is given then output is 2 comma 4 okay or hn therefore it is combination of del n plus 3 n minus 1 so del n is applied if del n is applied then the response is hn and then the, so uh, for the next input and three del n one then uh, as the input is shifted with uh, uh, delayed with minus one therefore uh, output is also shifted with as uh, same delay and minus one because the system is lti system which is time invariant system as we know delayed input uh, reflect to the reflect in the output therefore output is also shifted with uh, um, one delayed okay then minus one is represented to uh, shift towards right or arrow move towards left therefore one zero is additional added here in the previous response and three is multiplied throughout the system then uh, uh, then 3 del n minus 1 generate a response 0 6 comma 4 uh, comma 12 therefore the combination of input del uh, del n plus 3 del n minus 1 output uh, generate output del n generate 2 comma 4 and 3 del n minus 1 generate 0 6 as the arrow represent uh, arrow represent the position of 0 therefore act accordingly then 0 plus 2 equal to 2 and 4 plus 6 equal to 10 and uh, 0 plus 12 equal to 12 therefore the answer of the given system is if the input is del n plus 3 del n minus 1 to the system then output will be 2 10 and 12 the next topic here is that any uh, representation of any signal has in term of impulse signal uh, any signal can be represented uh, through the impulse signal because the representation in term of del n is very convenient for the analysis or to generate a response as we discussed in the question so let any given sequence is there here with respect to the with respect to the position their magnitude or weighted are listed here okay then as we know del 
and represent represent any magnitude or infinite magnitude at the position of zero shifted in uh, delay then magnitude is also shifted okay then first term is x zero position x at the zeroth position it can be represent x and uh, sorry x not x zero position which multiply with del n similarly for the x1 or the uh, uh, magnitude of x at the position of 1 it is represented uh, with when xt multiply with del n minus 1 because del n minus 1 is a magnitude infinite at the position of 1 and it multiplied to the system and then system become x n del n minus 1 similarly for the left side x n minus 1 x uh, is represented with x, uh, x minus 1 del n plus 1 or shift towards the left similar other uh, similar for the other we can generate and by adding this means by adding this sequence this sequence and this sequence adding all this sequence generate a action means action equal to x0 plus x1 x1 in multiply with del n minus 1 uh, and the right side other and for, uh, for the left side x minus 1 multiply with del n minus 1 when we combine or add the all the signal it generate a sequence x n. Therefore, action can be represented in term of uh, Im impulse signal by summation of x k multiply with del n minus k, where the k is moving from minus infinite to infinite. Okay. Similarly, for the continuous signal as continuous signal is quantized into the small portion or the pulses signal which is delayed with respect uh, which is uh, uh, shifted with respect to delta function here the impulse is represented with delta as we discussed impulse is also uh, represented with delta as the width of this is delta and height is 1 upon delta and it correspond to del t if delta tends to 0 if delta tends to 0 their width become 0 and height become infinite for the convenient we will discuss here we will uh, represent impulse in term of uh, pulses okay Therefore, this uh, similar for the discrete time, this signal is quantized into different different pulses and also we represent uh, this signal in term of impulse signal. For, for example, when uh, uh, the pulse position at minus in minus del t, uh, del, uh, uh, delta to minus 2 delta is represented with x minus 2 delta multiply with delta t plus 2 delta delta function similar for the other similarly we can obtain and finally if we add this this signal if we add over all the signal then xt approximately equal to the x cap t if we add all the sequences and when uh, when delta is or delta when we put uh, delta to zero this is approximately equal to the xt function and in continuous time we can also represent the signal in term of impulse signal here in uh, here in discrete time we use the uh, summation function but in continuous time we use a integral function 
and the weighted function xt or xt is multiplied with the same 